My buddy found this while cleaning out his garage. The label was unreadable, but after some research online, I determined that this was a miniature fire extinguisher. They were made by Merlite Industries and marketed as a get-rich-quick item in popular science magazines in the 1950s. Men from coast to coast could make money hand over fist selling the midget miracle containing the same firefighting chemical used by the U.S. Air Force. Well, it turns out that miracle chemical is not good for your lungs, so I decided to take this outside to remove the valve. It ended up being empty. It looked like it used a pretty simple needle valve. I tried using some Goo Gone to help me remove the old label. I was able to get most of the label off. Then I went over the whole thing with the wire wheel. The brass was heavily corroded in spots, so I opted for the coarse wire wheel. Here's how it looked after the wire wheel. I used a smaller wire wheel in my Dremel to get in the tight spots. There was some bad pitting. And some ugly globs of solder. I was able to remove the solder with a utility knife. I used my 1x30 sander to remove most of the pitting. Here it is, sanded down to 400 grit. I used a small wire wheel to brighten the knurling. I went over as much of it as I could with the fiber wheel. I used my homemade abrasive discs to reach the areas I couldn't get with the fiber wheel. As a final step before polishing, I went over the whole thing with super fine steel wool. Chuck and I love to polish brass with our flits. Okay, this is what the tiny fire extinguisher looked like when my buddy found it in his garage. So what do you think? I drilled and tapped the end and mounted it on a wood base to make it easier to display. Turns out these were an accessory for Harley Davidson's, so I made my own decal from a photo I found online. My buddy has a Harley, so I think he's going to like it. That is, if I can get it away from Chuck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.